Hi, everybody. I'm DJ Sixsmith, hanging out with Tracy Wilson, CBS Sports Sideline Reporter. How are you, Tracy? I'm doing great, DJ. Thanks for having me. Of course. So you've been a part of this college basketball world for a long time. You do the NFL, you do the Super Bowl. What are the differences between the two in terms of prep and just overall experience? Yeah, I always say I love regular season football, like just week in and week out and prepping for those games. But when it comes to postseason and March Madness and the Final Four, there is nothing like it. And I don't do regular season basketball, so the prep's a little different because besides the Big Ten tournament, I don't really know much about these teams. And, and I really only get a chance to watch them right after football and through until March starts. And so um, the prep is different. It's a lot of, you know, craft at the last minute and as soon as those brackets are revealed you are searching those teams and I always find the smaller teams first you know let's find the the Cinderella's or the teams no one knows about really you know get to know them and highlight them because you don't know how long they're gonna make it in the tournament and you want to bring a lot of you know important you know stories to the to the fans of these teams that you know, no one really knows about. And then you deal with all the blue bloods afterwards because everyone knows about the Kentuckys and the Dukes and the North Carolinas on the world. But it is just, it's the best. There's passion and joy and uh, so much, so many unpredictable moments. And it is just the greatest three weeks, I think, that I ever get a chance to do. That's awesome. So Iron Eagle was here before. Just the four games in one day, like that's yeah. a crazy thing. Can you just describe the adrenaline rush and then also just balancing that from a vocal perspective? Yeah, it is a complete rush. And it, there is a balancing factor because you're preparing for eight teams. And so a lot of times you don't really have much time in between. And you're, you're doing one game and then you're like, okay, let's move on to the next. And you have your stories for every team and you have maybe a half hour in between. And yeah, you have to worry about your voice. You have to worry about, you know, you have don't have time to really replenish your energy is the biggest thing and I see like once you turn to those night sessions everything starts getting like tired and you got to build yourself up and I'm not like a soda drinker but I always have to open a little can of coke and just <laughs> take a shot because you got to get some more energy for those those final games a lot of times those are the biggest games we have so you have to balance I tell all new reporters first of all wear comfortable shoes don't be in heels the whole time Stephanie exactly and I'm short so I usually need <laughs> need those heels uh, you know bring an energy bar with you and just have it organized and and keep moving on and then you know what after you get through that first day Saturday or Sunday depending on when you're working is, is kind of a breeze so there's a lot of interesting storylines this year very top heavy in terms of the Blue Bloods what excites you the most about this tournament I think that's what excites me the most is there's so many really good teams out there and not only the Blue Bloods necessarily but even a team like Gonzaga that continuously makes it to the tournament and, and is usually a, you know a high seed but people keep, keep saying ah oh, they don't deserve it they don't deserve it that they play in the WCC well you know what I think this Gonzaga team actually deserves it this year and so um, I think there's a lot of those teams that we don't know about players we don't know about to see you know John Moran out there I think everyone's going to be really excited to watch him and uh, Marquette, Marcus Howard, and the, how he's producing out there. And then you have the teams like a Michigan that really is struggling right now, made a run last year. Can they get back into the tournament and, and make a run again? But then you have, of course, Zion Williamson, and everyone wants to talk about Duke and what North Carolina is doing. Virginia, can they come over the hump and after what happened to them last year? So there's so many storylines going in, and, and we forget about the teams like Houston that I believe is going to be very dangerous yeah, in, this, yeah, yeah. In, the, in this tournament. And we so they really could have made a run last year, lost by a buzzer beater to Michigan. So um, there's really a lot of teams to look forward to watching this March. Definitely. So people obviously know you from your sideline work, but you also do We Need to Talk, which has been great to see that grow. So what's it been like building that out the last couple of years? Yeah, I love it. Actually, I'm going to head out right after this and, and do another show. And we have one coming up at the Final Four as well. And to me, it just is a camaraderie of women that know sports and love sports and have a background in sports. And we give all our perspectives it's and it's all different perspectives because we're all different we've all come from different places in our lives um, and being a female I think we also have a different perspective on sports doesn't mean that we're not going to talk the X's and O's but we might see it differently and we've really grown we've grown together we've grown as friends and I think it shows on the show and we can really attack now it's once a month we can attack a theme and this obviously this month it's all about basketball and so we can bring our knowledge and our passion for it and give it to the fans. Tracy, thanks so much. Thank Great you. to see you. Appreciate it.